Hello travelers, welcome back to Behind the Scenes, where we give you the exclusive on some of Jamaica's favorite spots. Today, we will be touring a popular seafood eatery, Sharky's, located in Salem, Runaway Bay. Let's take a look. So welcome to Behind the Scenes, Alwyn. It's great having you. You have made a name for yourself within the food industry. A little bit started off in seafood, now you've gone over to raves and that type of vibe. My thing though, you know, is I understand that you're great with food, you know how to make it work for you in the business aspect. But my question is, can you really cook though? <laughs> Are you, because you, you provide a lot of eat out, so do you eat in sometimes? Let me be honest, you can't cook. Okay. So you're So you create the business basically to support the people like you, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a good drive. Alright, so getting into it. So Sharkies. I remember Sharkies when it just opened up, getting into the groove of it, it was known for the food and the entertainment. Like since COVID coming in now, how has that dynamic changed for you? A drastic change. Mm -hmm. you know, shark is usually hype. Yes. And then now it kind of just, you know? Yeah. Just regular. And it was stage show place and yeah, man, the whole the easy seafood type of vibe. Grab a beer, relax and chill and, and so forth. And it has been a drastic change for you. Is it a drastic change for your customers financially? Is it an all rounded type of thing? All around. I mean, for the staff, then, even though we have like most, if not, well, basically, have all persons back at work. I mean, the hours because of the restrictions, you know, the hours yeah. cut, so the salary kind of dips through, and you know, mm -hmm. that leads to a lot of little issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me personally, business wise, I mean, it's been a big hindrance. Yeah. Uh, because I mean, some of the I like to keep going forward, and, and it's a year and a little bit, you know, kind of stagnant. You know? Yeah. I mean, all the things, I mean, we had, we had to like try some new things. Mm -hmm. It's been a while we wanted to go. Online and just put ordering and stuff. Okay. And since the pandemic, so we had to just hit that. You had to force you into the space. Yeah. But I think it's good that you thought about it. So even for you, it wasn't that hard of a change to say, okay, let's jump to something new, see how we can meet the people. Speaking on meeting the people though, what are the new ways in which that you guys provide food services for your customers? Outside of your regular coming, dining, like what's the experience now? Yeah, man, so I, I spoke before about online ordering, you can mm -hmm. order and we deliver it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you can track the order in real time. Nice. So, and you can order it too and pick up to us so mm -hmm. online. And you can call in mm -hmm. through our WhatsApp or our Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. So, I mean, Times like these, you have to engage the customers even more. Yeah, uh, meet them where they are. Yeah, man. Yeah. Critical times. It is. It really is. Okay, and for your offerings too, has anything changed in what you guys supply customers with, or do they have the regular menu, everything that they would have usually enjoyed? Um, it's the regular menu that would have few changes. Okay. Because um, every year we actually change some items on the menu, just to keep it kind of interesting. Oh, nice. So, I mean, for a while, people have been asking for like stuff like seafood boil and crabs and stuff. Nice. So nice. We're offering like the blue crabs and like, mm -hmm. seafood boil. So we have a, you know, a few things that will change every now and then. Oh, okay, so at least you keep that consistent for them because they'll always look forward to something new from you guys. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, man, we can provide no entertainment right now. So. Oh, <laughs> I was just going to ask you, like, I know this spot was hot on entertainment. So, like, how do you kind of give them a little bit of something extra? Outside um, of the food, there's not much options. We just play a little music. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to just chill with the guidelines. <laughs> <laughs> the guidelines are no parties, no, no stage show, no no. Yeah. We have to just play some music and go and chill. You say keeping it cool. Yeah, man, it's a friendly environment. We have a DJ yeah. on weekends. Okay. So we still keep it bumping a little bit. All right, and they can step out in the open air, six feet apart, and maybe yeah, bust a dance. The whole sunny and the whole beach, they can go to the beach if they want, but the beach is free up now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
All right, so what's important to me now is that let's see how well you know your customers. So like, what are some of the favorites that they would order here at Sharky's? Well, naturally, fish on the most. Yeah? Okay. Nice. Okay, so mostly a fish place, but the platter is something that people enjoy because they get to sample a little bit of everything. Yes, nice, nice. Also, being that a lot of persons coming out, Sharkies is their favorite spot. Pandemic hits, I know it's a little bit different. You still try to incorporate extended services to reach them. But what else have you brought to the table to have your customers coming back outside of the great food that's here? Well, I would just say the environment. Mm -hmm. In the past, they will up against the property mm -hmm. just to make it more appealing. Mm -hmm. In our know, modern time now, people like the pictures. Mm -hmm. So we try to have some nice pictures back then, you know? Yeah. Just keep that, that nice kind of friendly environment. Okay. So apart from the food, I would say that food and the service mm -hmm. with the environment. Okay, and what have you um, added like a value back to them? Well, uh, we have a relationship with Plum now. Okay. And what we have is a point based system. Right. It's where the customers get rewards based on their um, spend. Okay. And so, so you yeah, get points mm -hmm. because value your spend. Right. And these points are really good for you. Nice. Several items like earrings. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so a lot of variety of things that they have the opportunity of winning. And that's great. Everybody likes a personal touch to their stay. So it's like you feel like family, like I have something from Sharkies. I don't just eat at Sharkies. And it's no extra spend. It's from whatever you spend at the restaurant. It's no additional cost. Oh nice, and then one day you guys just surprise them with something yeah, great. When reach, when reach, a certain level. Yeah, a certain level of points. Yeah. yeah. So, Alright, you know, if you can get this, or if you want to get some more points, you can get this again. Oh, so you let them know that even though you have this now, you can want to keep coming back and enjoying yourself. We'll enjoy you by giving you something even greater than what you had before. One, one, one. come every day. Alright. <laughs> Well, I mean, if somebody giving me value for my money outside of just the ordinary, of course I'm going to want to come back another time. Right. All right. So that's great in that area. Also, does everybody have access to this loyalty program that you have? Yeah, it's open for everybody. Yeah, so every customer. So it's not only somebody that comes on the daily. No, it's open for everybody. Yeah, because you have a lot of persons traveling all over to come to Sharky's. Okay, great. I love that. love that. Thanks again for joining us on another episode where owner Alwyn Brown shared with us his passion for food and how he created a space for people to get out, eat excellent cuisine and enjoy a breathtaking view by the sea. Stay tuned for part two and as always we will see you next time.